All right, guys, a couple of girls too. A couple of weeks, uh, a couple of days ago, finished the uh, second part of the video on the busted camshaft from the 21 horsepower Briggs. Uh, There's been a few questions about what's been going on. I've been a bit busy, so I've done it. Try and download it tonight, and we'll go from there. Like and subscribe, hope you enjoy it. First off, my youngest fella. I'd like to show you his wheel stand he's done on his motorbike. Anyway, love you all. Righto, back on part two of the 21 horsepower Briggs. Which wooden was hard to start. If you remember the last video, if you don't, watch it again. There's the new cam, there's the old, and there's the bits off the decompression load, which are there. As I described to you on the last video how that works. The decompression on the startup so that it turns over a lot faster, gets the pace up, and the spring releases that load, and it doesn't touch the cam lifter, and they blow apart. So, put that in. So we've got the cam, we've got a seal, crankshaft seal, and the gasket. What a go, Pike. Put those gloves. Always said I wasn't going to wear those stupid things. Now look at me, I'm modelling them. Be wearing a fucking flower beyond me here soon. So I'm just going to clean the gasket, rest of the gasket off that surface. And the same on the bottom of the sump. And we'll put him back together. Righto, crankshaft seal. Let's check you got the right one. We'll knock him out. Probably nothing wrong with it. Got it apart, not taking the risk. I need any foreign material in there. Blind as a fucking bat. Do this with a small punch. Or a large socket if you got one. Evenly as you can. That looks pretty good. You push those seals in too far, you can't sort of see it, but there's a oil gallery in there that you can block. So just make sure you don't push him in too far. Go a little bit further. Absolutely amazing. Alright. Oh, no. Just gonna clean that surface up, the bottom of the sump. I've already done it, but I'll just use a razor blade to get the bulk of the gasket off. Then I use one of these fellas. Gasket remover, brilliant for doing head gaskets. Comes, you can get different coarse or fine pads. Best thing ever for gaskets. Give you a little demo.
Only thing I will advise, if you're doing it on aluminium with one of those, don't leave it in the one spot for too long. You can put a little bit of a rut in. That's pretty good. No ruts in that one. So I'll just do the rest of that. Throw the gasket on and we'll put him back together. Here we are, back on a different angle. What I didn't mention was also when you get those cams, get new set of lifters, inlet and exhaust, they're both the same, and you get a new pump shaft. If you remember I took the pump apart in the first video, it's easy to get it all back together, well it's the only way. So I'll just put a little bit of grease on those, a bit of oil on them, push them up into their recess. There's one right at the back. If you can see, without my, don't drop them in. One that goes right up the back. I hold him up. They usually stay up there pretty good. Sometimes I put a bit of grease on and hold them in. The next one, I want to pop out. Now I've got a bit of oil in the journal back there where the cam goes. Can you see that dot there? Lines up with the dot on the crank for your timing. Don't fuck it up. And we're going to slide it in. Like that. And those journals can, doesn't matter if they pop down. Better if they do. Now you can put the governor on. Which goes on like that. And that's held in place by the sump when I get it on. Well eh? Here's our gasket. You can just put it on. They're fairly well good machine surfaces. But I always put a bit of gasket material on it. Just call it a second insurance. Just on both sides. Got it apart. Don't want to take it apart again. Gasket. He's on. Bit of goo on the gasket, both sides, taking me love gloves off. I just put a little, very thin layer of oil around where our seal sits. If you can actually burn seals if they're very dry. Make sure you put it on straight like I just didn't. The crank's on, sorry, some. Just do these up evenly. Butterfly gun. <coughs> Forward. <coughs> Reverse. You can adjust the torque there. I'll just nip them up. <coughs> evenly. <coughs>
and I'll just check them by hand with a ratchet. There is a torque setting for them. I can't remember what it is. Firm, I think. I won't film doing all that, that's boring for you. We have oil pump together, runs off the cam, you can turn that and it'll spin in. A little bit of oil on there, be a end over it then. There she is. O-ring and a plate. I'll put him on. Righto, we're putting the headgear back together. Just a little note. Always check those. They come loose quite often. And it can muck with your valve clearances. So. Little collets at the top of the valve. I've just put a little bit of oil on there. Two. Now, who was paying attention in the last video? Steel and aluminium push rod. I still don't know why they do this. I've never really looked into it. Aluminium is the intake. That's the bottom one. Exhaust, steel to the top. Make sure they go into that. You can feel them when they're recessed properly. Now we'll put our valve gear on. Let's put that on loosely. Um, spark plug's still out. I'll spin him around until I get him on top dead. I'll just turn the camera off for a second so I can sort myself out here. Righto, got my valve gear in, and I've adjusted the valves. I won't tell you what mine were because I don't want you doing the same, every diff engine is different. Now, that 14mm is for the adjustment of the valves. The hex bit in the middle on this particular engine is what tightens it into spot, into position. Now I'll just show you what I was talking about the other day, or the first video. Now, if we just turn it, turn the engine over, there's the exhaust going down. It'll come up, intake will go down. And this is the diagnosis on that camshaft, if I just show you, if I can stop wobbling like I'm a bloody raving alcoholic. Intake goes down. Now, when the intake comes back up, this is what I was talking about in the last video. Keep turning it, and you'll see that intake valve. Don't know if you've seen that or not. It'll do another little down and up, and that's the lobe on the cam. Now, I adjust my valves a little bit past that because you can get caught on that on that decompression lobe all right that's pretty well it i'm just going to put that tap of cover back on i won't film that only other thing i'll do is i'll put a little bit of never seize on that crankshaft and i won't film putting it back in too because that'll be boring for you i'll just clean the surface off there that engine doesn't sit flush, it'll come loose. It'll be vibrating around like you know what. Also clean off the points of contact on the engine. Right, I hope that helps someone out. Young fella's gonna do a wheelie on his motorbike for years now. 
Right, eh? Like and subscribe.